Hey everybody, it's David R. Becker here with Becker Art, and today we are going to talk to you a little bit about creating texture in watercolor. And there's many ways of creating texture in a wash in watercolor, but one I want to talk about today is salt. And you know, yes, salt like the table salt, basically. And as you see right here, um, kosher salt is the better one of those salts that you want to use. It's a little bit bigger and it gives you a little bit more of a texture. And what you're doing is, I'll show you in a second, and I'm going to be using Aqua Cold Press Stonehenge, my my go-to paper. And so I'm just going to, this is a block. And so what I'm going to be doing is I want to show you. And I also have table salt, just regular fine table salt that you get, you know, in your shaker. <laughs> um, and this one, again, is kosher salt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, the problem is that most people, when they use it, they either make it too wet and not enough pigment because basically what you're doing is you have to put enough pigment in there to have it push the pigment away from the area where the salt is sitting. And I've seen a lot of people try to use the little salt when they do a good job with it. It all it takes a little bit of practice. And so even with the small um, grains of salt, it works if you have enough pigment to water ratio. And let me just show you. So I'm going to... Um, pick up the color right away. I'm not gonna wet my paper first. I'm just gonna basically take the color in here. I'm gonna make it really thick to start out with. I'm gonna give myself a really nice, thick, thick amount of paint. And I noticed that when I do this with really thick, thick amount, it's a little bit harder to get some of the paint pigment to give you a um, push away. So the thicker the pigment is, the less you're gonna get of the marks. And I'll show you what happens after I pull it out of the oven. <laughs> I did one, and actually you see I did one before, and I'll show you that in a second, all right? And so I just wanna to explain to you how to get it. And so here, this is um, a surface with a lot of, lot of pigment. Not much water and a lot of pigment, and the thicker the pigment, the more it's not gonna give you as much of, uh, of the salt. And especially if you use the thin, the mini <laughs> salt, but if you use the kosher, thick, coarse salt, it could it gets you a little bit of texture and it also depends on how wet it is if it's just barely wet or you wait too long it's basically dissolving is what's happening is it's dissolving the water and the water's dissolving the salt which is then moving the pigment away from that spot where the salt is and so then we put a little bit more water here now i'm just going to take a lot more water more water than pigment and again just going to i mean you still need pigment because if you don't have pigment you have nothing to push away because when you have, just have water, and a matter of fact, too much water, you're not pushing enough pigment away. And so here I'm going to put a little bit more pigment in, or a little bit more water, a little bit more water. And then down here, I'm going to go with a lot of water. Lots and lots of water, very light. And um, I'll show you what happens in a second. And so here I'm going to put a little bit more thicker right through there. And as we were talking about washes like this, see how it's gradated. So how do you make a gradation like that? And so we can just put that into this tip too, is that you just make sure it's all wet and you let the pigment float because pigment floating is the way it's edges soften in watercolor. Look at how clean this um, wash is because I put down the pigment in a, in a puddle of water and I just let it blend out on its own. You don't need to ever soften watercolor at all. So with that said, this part is really wet. This part is a um, pretty wet. But a little bit more pigment, a little bit more pigment, not quite as dark as over here and not, not quite as much pigment over here. So I'm just kind of washing that out here a little bit. All right. And so here we're going to make this really, really wet to really show you how this part then being really wet, sometimes what happens is it dissolves so much of the pigment that you're not pushing away and letting the salt also stay there. So with the miniature salt or with the mini salt, the regular salt, table salt, I'm gonna put it on there and it's okay. It will, um, in this area, will probably work out pretty decent. Down here, it's just gonna dissolve probably and just give you a little bit of texture. Um, and maybe that's the kind of texture you want. And then as you go farther up here, I'm gonna put some up here, but up here, a lot of times it tends to not do anything because it just, um, oh, let me show you. <laughs> so I'll take the coarse salt. Now this is the uh, Morton kosher salt, which is a coarse salt. If you look right here, see, it's very coarse. And where this salt is very, you know, little, here's a little stuff. And that's very, that's the stuff you use for a tablespoon of um, when you're cooking and baking. And so here we're going to go with the, the coarse salt and we're going to put that on there. And I think I may have waited too late on this side because, oh no, it's working. It's working a little bit. But you have to watch out that if you if you wait too late or if it were to go too early, it all it's a little bit of a, a timing. And so I'm going to put a little bit on here. 
So shake it on there. And this week in my paint along, we're going to be doing a truck and we're going to make sure that it's the big part about this painting will be the texture that you get in, in the beautiful, um, old beat up truck. And so that's why I'm doing the salt to maybe get a little bit of texture in some of that. And you can make it look like rust, you know, not, not with blue, but, or with purple or blue, but you can um, still get some beautiful, beautiful textures when you use salt. Now, another way of doing that is I will put down a wash right over here, just to show you that I'm just gonna let that dry while I'm talking here a little bit. And um, over here, I'm gonna show you a little bit trick too, that if you don't have salt around, but you still wanna have a texture, oh, there's many ways of getting texture. You can do these sponges, you can use cellophane, but today we're just talking about salt and that kind of effect that you get with salt. It's usually dots that separate on the paper and kind of gives crystallizes. And so here I have a little wash. And so let's say you don't have salt and you want to get more of that little dot thing. And so this is what salt does, right? And so here is the same thing. I'm turning around because this is what this is how I did it. This is the one I just pull out of the oven. <laughs> so um, if you can see, this is the part where I just put in the really light salt. And so you don't get very much, but there is still a bit of a texture there though. And I rubbed it off too. This part I rubbed out for there. Here on this side, I rubbed it off because you also get a little dot. So here I'm going to rub this part off. As you can see, you can get where, where the salt is sitting. It's going to get you know, almost white because it's repelled all the, all the pigment away from that certain area. I push that away. And up here, I have left all the salt. And so I'm going to take it off. So here, look at the dark. In the dark where it's thick, it doesn't spread out as much because it was thicker. It was thicker. See how thick it was? The, the pigment was very thick there, somewhat wet. And so it's taking and not bleeding out as far. So this is a little bit more wet. This is a little bit thicker paint, wet, but not so um, watery. Here was watery, less pigment. And so it's pushing a lot of the water away from the center of the entire. And here was a fine salt, fine granulated salt. And also the thick granulated, but I added this really, really wet, just like I did here. So this will end up in a little bit, it'll end up just like this, but we're not gonna have time for that because it's a very short, quick tip, right? <laughs> but I wanted to show you like right here now, it's starting to dry a little bit. And so just take your fingers, let me put this aside here. So if you, want, if you don't have salt and you feel like you wanna get that texture, take your finger, dip it into water, and then just spatter it, just spatter it like this. And look at how instantly I get the same kind of thing because that's basically what's happening with the salt. It's pushing away and actually you get those little dots. Now, if this is too wet, it will also bleed away and you'll not get those edges. And if it's too thick, you will also not get anything. So it acts a little bit like salt, but just with the salt, it stands and it takes a little bit longer. So you're gonna get a little bit different in the texture. So those are two different ways of getting that kind of texture where you see a little dots, a little basically dots. Um, you can also, what I do is, you know, many of my paintings, I spatter. So that's opposite of what you're doing here is you're putting on the paint to look like dots like that. And also depending on how you whip the brush and everything. But today is not about the spattering, it's about salt. And so again, just to um, recap, uh, here it was really thick. Here it was um, thick and wet, but very thick paint. Here it was somewhat um, wet and um, a lot, a lot um, more water than pigment. And we're here with more pigment than water. And so this is going to be like this. That's going to be more of this thing because the water is leaning out. This was very wet. This part was very, very wet. And so you're going to get a little bit of texture there, um, which, uh, and the gr big granules will just see, it just got all white because there's so much water. It's moving all the pigment away from it. So that's, um, basically salt. That's the technique of salt. And hopefully at this Thursday, stop by in my um, YouTube channel and we'll be painting a truck. And so um, an old, old rusted out truck, and we were going to try to give it some texture and some really neat washes. And this is one way of getting some really, really neat washes with salt. All right. If you have any other questions, please leave them down in the chat part of the video or the comments part, I should say. Um, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be great. And you can see more tips like this every week, hopefully every week, but not all the time. <laughs> but um, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.